Hey folks, it's Lee Scoggins from the Absolute Sound. We're here in beautiful Fountain Valley at the Synergistic Research Factory. In just a second, we'll go inside and Ted Denny, the CEO, is going to give us a tour of how they make their products uh, by hand, both cables, line conditioners, ethernet switches, grounding blocks, and all sorts of accessories. And this tour will give you some insights. Thanks for coming on the journey with us. Hey, hey, Ted, how Lee. are you? Good to see you. Glad to you're making you. it to the factory. Yeah, glad to be here. Let's, yeah. let's find out what's going on. So you've had this factory for two years, a much yeah. larger space. Much larger space, and we own this space. So. That's that's fantastic. Yeah. So um, Lifelong dream. So how much, how, much, how much space do you actually have here? It looked, it looked like a big facility when I was walking around earlier. Thousands and thousands of square feet. Let's take you around and show you. All right. Yeah. I'd offer you an old fashioned or a whiskey, but I know you're a teetotaler, so. Yeah, that's absolutely right. <laughs> that's my secret's out. <laughs> okay, back here is where we build our electronics by hand. Like right now they're building uh, tranquility based carbons mm -hmm. here. Okay. And what do those do, Ted, just to remind our audience? It's it's an electromagnetic it sets up an electromagnetic stabilizing field under the component. It conditions the signal, for lack of a better okay. word. Uh, well, it's and in basically the, lowers noise in the system. Does lower noise floor. It improves uh, perceived dynamic range. Okay. Yeah. Lower, Terrific. much lower noise floor, more resolution, okay. more natural. Excellent. Looks like we're doing some cable. Doing some power here. cords. Yeah. Power cords. Yeah. Is that a power cord? Yeah. Yeah. So see, all the work is done by hand. In here, we're working on power cells. And these elements get rolled up to make the uh, electromagnetic cell by hand. Okay, okay. Pure silver in a air dielectric okay. for point-to-point uh, -point wiring. Power cell SX with the Galileo power cell power supply. So this is a line conditioner you sell. Non-current limiting line conditioner. It shows you how many uh, amps you're drawing and it has the Galileo power uh, power supply. So non-current limiting, you can put your amp into this. You don't In have our to plug reference amp. system, the big uh, 601 monoblocks yeah. are plugged into one power cell. Okay, terrific. Yeah. See? And they're in various, you know, stages of... Um, build? Yeah, build or and or inspection. And you've got hoods that kind of, I guess, extract the... Any noxious fumes out through the uh, ventilation system? Absolutely, yeah. Everything is to OSHA code. So. Yep. Okay. Yeah. But again, made in USA. It looks nice and modern, and, and look a at lot the, of handwork it seems here. Tremendous. Pure silver. Excellent. Pure silver, and that's being used for current delivery, point to point in the Galileo power cell. But you also use non-silver wires and it's sort of it's sort of your proprietary mix in terms of depending what, what we want to do and the uh -huh. type of component that we're going to work with. Okay. Correct. So, so you'll use we voice the cable with a lot of different ways including okay. material selection. Okay. Yeah. So let's go here. When the red lights are on in the building it means we're running the list we're doing listening tests and everybody's quiet. Perfect. Yeah. Run silent, run deep. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Now, I saw a gentleman here who's really nice. He was doing terminations uh, yesterday. Yeah, Gustavo. Yeah. He's been with me since he was a teenager. Now he's a dad with two kids. That's awesome. Wife, home. Uh huh. We've been together a long time. But he builds SRX and Galileo SX, and, or Galileo Discovery now. He's our uh, top cable builder. And everything is built by hand right now. Uh -huh. Labels are going on. Uh -huh. Galileo Discovery jumper leads for speakers. Pure silver. All and right. once you assemble the cables, you burn them in as well. <laughs> we right? do, and I'll, well, sure, you want to see that now? That's over here. I think people would find that interesting. Sure, uh, sure, sure. So here is where we have cables that are finished, QC'd, burned in, and uh -huh. waiting to be shipped. Uh huh. 
And these are all for different orders, and we're still waiting to finish up some cables. So are you largely building in. the order then when you get an order in from the dealer, or is there certain stock cables you keep as well? Since COVID, you know, business has been so busy. We used to try to build the or you know, to inventory mm -hmm. and ship from stock, but we pretty much build the order nowadays. Okay. So some serious cable. Yeah, here's the there's garden hose and then here's there's S Galileo <laughs> and SRX. SRX digital is what that is. That's a oh, is it SPDIF cable? Looks like it. Yeah. Ethernet switches. Terrific. I think a lot of people know that you make, you know, some of the higher end cables. Uh -huh. But you you guys have a couple of affordable lines now. You've got foundation, you've got SR30. We have foundation and SR30, which actually celebrates Synergistic Research's 30th anniversary. Oh. I quit my day job August 1992, so you're here on our 30th anniversary. Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> so. But you and, don't have to be a millionaire to get into these cables, I, I guess, is the. Uh, no, you can be a thousandaire. Okay. You can be a hundred thousandaire. Okay, excellent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. These are your record weights? Yeah, record weights, uh, PowerCell SX, uh, Tranquility Pods, mm -hmm. European PowerCell 12 UEF. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see the shoe code. These are all going out for orders. So. Okay. Carbon fiber. <clears throat> These are plates. older trank bases. Oh, I want to show you guys something back here. All of the power, all of the power for the building runs through this 400 amp circuit right here, okay? Uh -huh. We have one gold and one purple UEF carbon tuning disc on that circuit. And that made a massive difference in the listening room. And we're going to be putting together a video in the coming months where we remove these and let people hear in the reference system with and without one purple, one gold UEF carbon tuning. And that'll and, uh, be noticeable. It's, it's very noticeable. Okay, cool. And it's qualitative, okay. not merely different. Uh -huh. Everything we build, we burn in for one week. So all electronics, so here we're burning in Ethernet switches, power cell 8 uh, power conditioners for both 220 and 120 volt. We are burning in or have already burned in a tranquility base, burning in tranquility pods. Mm -hmm. um, cables get burned in here. We jump them together and, you know, and just burn them in. Mm -hmm. And that, that, there is no substitute for leaving a cable in a system, right? Yeah. But this helps the process along faster, but you're still yeah. going to have to put it in your system. And it's still going to get better for 100 hours, Okay. 200 hours. Um, but it'll be a lot better off right out of the gate mm -hmm. because we did this. And we shape what the cable will sound like forever okay. with this. Um, here's some of my older gear. Uh, this is... This was my reference digital transport and that's for like cell? 15, that's a four cell. And that was, that was really the bomb in the nineties. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I remember reading the reviews. Yeah. And I had one of Way their above my pay grade back then. I had one of their tables too. So yeah, this is just kind of where we break stuff in and store some stuff that we have. Okay. Okay. Then out here in the warehouse. This is shipping and receiving. Uh -huh. And orders are getting ready to go out. We have, you know, boxes and packing material coming in. Looks like you're double boxing them too. We box everything extremely well. Good. Okay. Yeah. So one of the things that we do at Synergistic is I look for ways to apply my technology to the automotive industry um, because that's one ready-made market where all of the elements are in one place in an environment and that's your car and uh, we have developed significant technology that will transform automotive audio one of these days in a licensing agreement so that'll be exciting. Uh, this car here, 92. This is my track car. This is my 2019 C7 Corvette ZR1. It's by far my fastest car. It's much faster than my Ferrari 458. In and it's 92 because that's when you founded it, right? 1992 is when I founded it. 
30 years ago this month. But of course, my favorite car is my Ferrari 458 Spider. And just because it's such a beautiful car and so nice to drive. A lot of fun. All right, so then back here, just, you know, storage, lots of storage. Uh-huh. Around the corner is the listening room, so we'll check that out. We spent a lot of time in there today shooting other videos. So Ted, you're running Magico M3, this is the speaker, correct? Yeah, these are Magico M3s with the M-Pod feet. We're using a Synergistic Research HFT speaker kit on each speaker. Okay. We're running the SRX cable loom, which is our highest performance cable system, okay. to the speakers. Got Macintosh amplification. Macintosh amplification, extremely neutral, um, straddles the difference between tube and solid state. When you make magic on Mac, you can make magic on anything. Um, all of the electronics are plugged into Galileo PowerCell SX. We have two of them because with 12 outlets, we ran out of outlets. Yeah. So we had to put it, drop another one There's in. a lot of boxes to put. But everything in the system is plugged into these two power cells, which are both going to the same dedicated 20 amp circuit. We have three circuits coming in, dirty, non-dedicated line, uh -huh. so we can try our power conditioners and they're the worst possible conditions. Then a dedicated line, uh -huh. and then a dedicated line with an industrial isolation transformer at the wall. Okay. And uh, obviously that sounds better, but the benefits from the, our power products remain constant, whether you've got dirty AC coming in, clean AC, or you've even gone to the extent to put in a massive um, isolation transformer as we did. Um, all the components are resting on top of yeah. tranquility-based like carbons. you've got the Galileo ground, active grounding block there as well. Yeah, that's So everything's it. grounded and plugged into the back? Everything is correct. Uh, all of the tranquility bases, the tranquility rack, this is a brand new product for us. All of the power supplies are grounded to the, and that's the other thing. It's got 44 ground points and we ran out. So we had to run a second Galileo SX active ground block. Yeah, okay. It's a big system. Yeah. And they both have SRX you know, power cords going to them. So it looks like you've got great digital coming in. You've got a Ber yep. the top of line Berkeley DAC. You've got yep. an acoustic signature turntable. And I believe a United Home audio reel-to-reel -reel DAC, correct? Yeah, and that's, that's obviously our best sounding front end. They do a great job. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. And <laughs> what you're gonna hear later we have, a, we're using a rune nucleus, you know, to run rune, and we've developed a power supply that is, well, you'll just have to hear it. Yeah. Just for the rune, it's amazing. The power supply is also used for certain DACs and uh, turntables, but we've got it on the rune, and we even have a special cable for the rune, and it, it's, it's incredible. And my understanding is you've actually spent a lot of hours in this room because you're doing listening tests. Everything this is, is my reference system. This is where everything's developed. Yep. It's where double blind testing occurs. It's where every, This is where our products get voiced mm -hmm. and finalized. It's a mastering lab for developing our products. Now, I also know you've spent quite a bit of time and money on the construction of this room, and it's got special walls. Yeah, it's a, it's a steel frame. Yep. And that steel frame is grounded to the Galileo SX active ground block. Oh, cool. And that makes a huge difference. Uh -huh. And then the outer shell is a sheetrock with steel plate in it. Oh. So it does not resonate or vibrate at all. Okay. It's very rigid and solid. And then the walls, the ceiling, and the floor are on a suspension system. Okay. So they can flex with low frequencies. Okay. And it knocks out standing waves and we get great bass response. We have a couple of acoustic uh, corner, you know, bass traps, uh -huh. and then the rest is being done with black box resonators, mm -hmm. and the system is flat. It's great. It has a slightly elevated RT60 time, which I prefer both subjectively, mm -hmm. and also, and when designing products, we want them to work in as broad a range of systems as possible. Okay. Most people don't have really dead 
acoustics. And I personally, that's not my cup of tea. Not a fan of the over dampened room. No, myself. I don't like anything over dampened. I like to yeah. use the energy that's there and, and contour it rather than yep. knock everything out. Ted, thank you so much. Really enjoyed thank the tour. Thank you so much, Lee. Thank and, you. And uh, the demos you did for us, which Absolutely. we'll also shoot videos on. Yes. And, and for opening the doors here at this beautiful factory. Thank really you. Really appreciate your time and effort. Thanks, Lee.